What's up, YouTube? It's Jermaine with another video, another San Francisco series video. And in this video, I'm going to talk about parking in San Francisco. So as you guys may know, you know, you got to park your car somewhere and so many people have cars. But do parking in San Francisco is unlike parking in any other city. And um, I'm basically making this video to help anyone who want to move here and who want to bring a car. Dude, just leave your car where you uh, where you came from because parking here sucks. All right, so let's just, uh, I'll throw out this scenario. I was downtown the other day. I was in on 2nd Street. It was Saturday and I noticed something. And living in the city, you see this all the time. So there, there's these trick parking spots in the city. I, well, at least I call them trick parking spots. A trick spot, a trick parking spot is a parking spot that has multiple, um, multiple tollway times on the same sign. For example, it may say tollway from seven a.m. to nine a.m. And it also may say tow away from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. So that's like a double whammy. So you really got to pay attention. So downtown, there are a lot of those trick spots. But the trick with this one was, it was a Saturday spot. So a lot of the tollways are like, you know, it may be a commercial zone, a loading zone, like a yellow zone. And then the daytime... Like, only, like, delivery trucks can park there. So, if you park there, you'll automatically get towed. But in those spots, usually on the weekends, you're free to park there. However, certain places, you can't park there. Like, it's even um, for deliveries on Saturday, too. So, on the weekends, a lot of tourists come to the city. And, you know, tourists do the same thing. Like, they drive around, they look for a parking spot, they can't find one. They see this yellow spot and they look around, they think, oh, it's cool, we can just park here, it's safe. And dude, before you know it, like they get their, you get your car towed. So the other day I was outside, you know, waiting for WeWork to open. And you know, I saw this family, they pull up in this spot. And, and I, you know, I was like pretty far away. I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't go over there and tell them, you know. But I definitely saw them pull up in the spot and, you know, they probably parked and went in. I came back out like an hour later because I'm, you know, waiting on WeWork to open. I went to Starbucks or something. It's the same family there, but this time they're just standing in that parking spot and they're just looking around as if their car got like towed or something. And then I see, you know, somebody, one of the one of the kids were like calling the number on the, the, the tow thing. And then as you, as I waited, I saw like an Uber pull up and I like literally walked, I was walking by them at the same time. And I heard them say, um, where's the tow yard? And I was like, oh yeah, they, they did get their car towed. And you know, that's just a common thing in this city. Um, I had a friend that came and stayed with me from SoCal. And, you know, he just basically parked his car and he was parked in like a 15 minute zone and they towed his car. And to get your car towed around here, it's not cheap. The cheapest tow is like, like roughly $500. Um, the deal is if, if they have to put your car on a dolly, a dolly is when they lift the wheels on the back. They charge you like $75 more. And the funny thing about San Francisco, by being so hilly, they don't typically use flatbed tow trucks. So they use the like the tow trucks that like literally tow your car and like it'll tow the back wheels down. But the problem with when you use a tow truck like that is if a car is all wheel drive, you can't you can't like tow it and you know pull the car by the back wheels you have to jack it up and put it on a dolly which you know the tow truck driver 
it takes him longer to do that. So they, they charge you like $75 more. And that's only if, you know, your car is down there for less than four hours because your car can sit down in the tow yard free for four hours. Well, it's literally not sitting there free, but you basically get four hours free. And if you pick your car up four hours later, they charge you another $70 on top of the $500 fee or whatever it is. I mean, it's ridiculous how much they charge you. And dude, it's just a lot of times it's a simple mistake for people. A lot of times it's a simple mistake. Like someone is driving through San Francisco and they're like, wow, let's get out and let's walk. Let's park the car and let's walk for a second. And you know, you just, you don't really pay that close of attention to the sun. And all of a sudden you come back, your car is not there. You, you freak out. You're thinking, oh man, someone stole my car. Someone stole my car. And then you come to find out that you have to pay $500 to get your car back. And, you know, your car is towed because you, you know, you didn't read the sign or maybe you blocked the driveway and, oh gosh, blocking the driveway. Let me jump on that one. So in the marina, one of my favorite neighborhoods to, to Uber in, it's a, a lot of tourists go there and it, it, it's actually a pretty fancy part of town, but it's kind of rinky dinky, you know? A lot of the driveways look like not driveways, but a lot of the garages look like that look like they don't open at all. So a lot of tourists will make the mistake and block driveways. And they don't know like if you block a driveway in the marina, man, the tow truck will be there in like ten minutes. Like the, the what'll happen is the whoever house you, you block their driveway They'll call, like, the city because they have the, the, the number on speed dial because it happens all the time in that neighborhood. They'll call the city. The city will come out in, in, like, minutes sometimes. They'll come out, you know, driving some little white city car. They won't come in those little, the little, the meter maid trolleys. They'll just come in, a, like, a normal car. The meter maid will get out of the, the car. And they'll, write, they'll write a ticket for blocking the driveway, which is usually $100. But your car don't get towed immediately because the the person from the city got there to write you that hundred dollar ticket. So the city at least got a hundred dollars out of you. Now just to think, you could still pop up and say, Oh yeah, that's my car and then you can move your car. And if you did do that, well, the city still got a hundred dollars out of you. But once the city gets there, they write you a ticket and then they call the tow truck. So from from the time the city gets there, from the time the tow truck gets there, you know, you're already out a hundred. So if you can, can get there, which, you know, usually people don't because they don't know that they blocked the driveway. So they don't know that, you know, they're about to get their car towed. You know, usually people are screwed because they're just like, you know, crap, I didn't know. And, you know, gosh, I'm going to get... Gosh, I just got my car towed in the city, and it's just a nerve-wracking experience. It never got my car towed in the city, and it's just a nerve-wracking experience, and it's just something that it's just something that sucks, and especially if you're a tourist. Like, I mean, you come here to visit the city, and all of a sudden, like, you basically have to pay a large fine for you know getting your car towed. And I've also heard rumors that even if you get your car stolen, that you have to pay a tow fee. For example, like if you get your car stolen and they like just take your car and they drive your car and like park it somewhere. And if the police can't get a hold of you like in a certain amount of time, well, obviously they're going to just tow your car. And if your car and if your car was like, you know illegally blocking something like obviously they're going to tow it quick because they probably don't even know it's stolen they're just going to tow it just because it's parked illegally but i would say that th those are definitely um major concerns in the city another way to get your car towed is by um certain certain hours of the day streets open up so, as you can see on this street that I'm videoing here, um, as you can see on this street here, 
on one, on one side of the street, there, there's cars parked. On the other side of the street, there's no cars parked. Well, on some streets, you know, in the middle of the day, you will see cars on both sides of the, of the street and they're parked. But then come four o'clock, you have to move your car. And if you don't move your car, they'll tow your car. But they also do that in the mornings, too. A lot of times they do that from like 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. So if you don't move your car, if you don't move your car, like they'll literally move it for you. And that's another like huge challenge that people, when they move here, that's a huge challenge for them because most people aren't used to like moving your car for street sweeping. And most people aren't used to like running out and putting five dollars in the meter to park your car for like one hour and most people aren't used to blocking driveways you know like i grew up in a place like where you could block driveways all day because those driveways were probably never open you know but around here gosh it's just supply and demand almost every driveway has a car in it if not someone sleeping in that driveway but yeah, that's just some um, things. Uh, also, if you park your car for like more than three three days in a row, they'll come by and slap slap you with a ticket for that for not moving your car for three days. I mean, you know, don't get scared. You can still like drive here, but I would just recommend pay attention. You know, pay attention. Like even myself, like I'm familiar with the streets, but. Every now and then, I'll pick up a friend, and we're talking, and, you know, we park the car, and then I just wait, and then I just say, oh, wait, I gotta read the signs, you know? So that's, that's just my only advice to anyone that, you know, comes here, just pay attention, read the sign, and believe me, you're probably better off in a garage. That way, you don't have to read that much, you can just go in pay whatever fee that they want you to pay. It won't be cheap, but you can pay whatever fee that they want you to pay. And you don't have to worry about your car getting towed or ticketed. But anyway, I'm gonna end the video now. But uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe. And uh, thanks a lot for watching, and check out uh, more videos in this series. Peace.